I'm not an expert on BMX and this is not going to be an expert analysis, it's just a beginner's analysis. I'm only beginning to BMX myself. But I can compare my new Colt Gateway 2016 model to my GT Bump 2009 model and I can tell you the different characteristics of what I feel as a beginner. So, straight up, um, the Colt is a lighter bike. It's bigger and it's lighter. Uh, the handlebars are more widespread and the seat is much more comfortable. It's, it's like I'm, it's almost like I'm cycling a Harley Davidson bicycle. It feels more right for my size. I'm five foot nine. Um, the GT Bump is a, is a great little durable bike. You know, I don't want to say anything bad about it. It's a great bike, but it's uh, it almost feels like I'm cycling a kid's bike because the handlebars are very narrow. The seat is very high to match my size with the pedals. And uh, it's a great bike, it's just, um, yeah, it's just a little bit small for me, that's all. But, um, yeah, the Colt, so I got this on special. I paid 599 Australian dollars uh, with the upgraded handlebars, the full pro model. The original handlebars kept moving every time I done a hop. It shift a little fraction and uh, every time I done a hop it would move and move and move. So I went back to the shop, they tightened them up. I went down to the park, tested it, moved again, they tightened it up a second time, moved again, they eventually just end up replacing the whole bar for me, set of bars. So I got brand new handlebars, I've got the Vans grips, they've got the waffle and they've got the Vans logo, if you can see that. Um, same with the tires. I think Colt and Vans have collaborated to manufacture the tires and the grips, and they've got the uh, the waffle. And if I take off my shoe here, you can see it's the same. Yeah. So it's the same style. It's the waffle to the hexagon, and then the waffle to the hexagon. So, I mean, it's a beautiful looking bike. People have comp complimented me on it on the street. Strangers told me it looks good. It was really cool. Yeah, I definitely recommend this bike. If you're learning to be a mix and you want to start learning to do 180s and all sorts of bunny hop and other techniques, it's definitely a good bike to go with. You might want to upgrade the handlebars like myself if you're going to be doing hops and uh, you might if you can ex if you can afford it, you might want to go for control, which is the next model up. Um, but overall. I'm really happy with this bike. 